Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead episode 85 and the last time we left off we had cleared out that mansion which ended up pretty much being just uh, tables and chairs and kitchens, so many kitchens and uh, now we're going to grab a hold of our vehicle and we're going to go do some more exploring uh, since we're heading down into this town that's nearby anyways. I just realized I got my curtain closed on my right window there, but that's all right. Uh, the mirror lets me see pretty much what's going on, so. All right, we're moving along, so. Um, I guess I want to probably take off-road. Over here, since I don't want to get too close to that town, but I do want to see what's at the end of that road uh, down here, whether it be an evac shelter or something really neat. Because usually all the really cool stuff is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's not generally in the towns. Lots of buildings in the towns, but anything that's cool or neat to check out is usually not in the towns. Okay, there's a giant forest here, so um, I can I could try to go around it. I lost my mirror already. So I'm actually going to slow down for a second and let's see, um, open that up, grab the controls and let's take back off here, moving a little bit quicker than I usually move. Oh, hold on. I see some rocks over here. All right, appears to be a crash site. Let's stop and take a look real quick. And we've got one of those worms coming up this way, so we'll let him come over here. There we go, and take care of him just like that. That spider there. Giant web spider. Ah, yes, lots of web. See? Yeah, he was trying to do something. Uh, but he was no match for me. Oh, zombie dog. Hello. There we go. Let's grab our shovel. And we'll do a little bit of digging around, see what we can't find. Uh, maybe uncover some neat stuff. I always like kind of checking out, see what's here. Uh, since we are kind of right next to our vehicle as well, I could take some of this maybe scrap metal. And once again, if I don't find anything, then we will we will head up out of here. The military black box is here, so. Look at that huge spider nest over there. That's so creepy. Hate spiders. I mean, I'm not afraid of them or anything necessarily. It's just the, like the premises of like giant man-eating spiders is just a terrifying thought. It's like uh, that movie. Ooh, pair of sunglasses. That movie, uh, Eight-Legged Freaks. Oh, like I love that movie, but it's just terrifying. I don't know why. I just really like that movie. I thought that was a good movie. A lot of people didn't like it. I guess it has like a weird following. Oh, I thought I grabbed one of those tablets already. So we are finding a couple stuff in here. A pair of ballistic glasses. Uh, so definitely worth kind of going through and taking a peek. Uh, sometimes you can find some really, really rare uh, military weapons and such, which is why, if you're wondering why I'm going through this, uh, that's a big reason why. You can find secret military weapons, uh, like laser rifles and stuff like that. It's just some really neat stuff. So, just want to make sure I don't miss anything that could be really cool. I'm kind of just doing the middle right now. I'm not really worrying too much about the outsides. Zombie dog coming in.
Alright. Looking like pretty much nothing else. Oh, what was that? A pair of stylish sunglasses. Yeah. Lots of sunglasses. Is this a military helicopter carrying sunglasses? I found ballistic glasses. I found just regular sunglasses. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab up some of these wires and pipes. And uh, load them up inside the vehicle for crafting supplies. Because uh, they do come in handy for certain situations. And I wouldn't mind having some. Drop them right in our crafting bin here. We got the three wires, the three pipes. And the spring. And uh, let's just grab some scrap metal as well. It's always good to have. Actually, I'll just do... There we go. Or whatever's faster, I guess. It doesn't really matter. It's a roguelike, so commands are just commands. You know, it's how it goes. Playing with the keyboard. I don't need a whole lot, but I do want to grab a good amount. More pipe and wire. Now, the spiders will generally leave you alone. They just don't like you near their nest, generally. So, if a spider starts coming towards you, it's like he is. It's generally because he doesn't like me that close to his nest. You got to be careful of spiders. They can poison you if you're not if you're not careful. Uh, oh, crap. Where'd that guy go? I'm all creeped out now. There he is. Uh, yeah, especially those ones that you'll find in the basements. Those ones are nasty. They will mess you up. I honestly haven't decided yet if I think I could take those or not. Uh, yes. Was I hurt by the spider? Or was I just hurt because I'm sick? Um... I think I was just hurt because I was sick. I don't think the spider actually hurt me. I don't think he could get in here. He is doing something out there, though. He's crawling all over the vehicle. Okay, well, let's drive out of here because the premises of giant spiders crawling over my vehicle is just a terrifying thought, to be honest with you. Um, I guess I could drive past all these houses. I just don't want to tr I'll pull a brute or something that just rips through my vehicle, but um, I want to get past this these houses so I can actually um, I can actually start doing some exploring down that road there, see what we've got. So, I mean, I guess I could pass these houses. What was that? I just saw something up there. Uh, okay, Z9. I see him. Oh, we gotta start turning. Like, now. Ah, uh, we lost some of the armor there. Not sure what I hit. This vehicle needs some serious repairing. And probably some modifying, too. I also cannot see very well. I do have some modifications I plan on doing to help. Oh, no. And there's a zombie brute. There we go. We just missed it. Where's that zombie brute? It's exactly what I was worried about. Let's back up for a second. I did just pull an entire wave of zombies this way. Okay. Let's get out and fight these guys. Are we moving still? No. All right. I need to do some repairs on this vehicle. Actually, don't do that yet. Let's fight these guys. Zombie brute coming this way, potentially. All right. Dog. Okay. There we go. Let's take a look. He has actually not... Um, not spotted me yet. They, they sometimes don't. 
honestly. The zombie brutes I've noticed uh, tend to be, uh, they tend to spot things, uh, or what am I trying to say? They're not as observant, I guess. That just seems to be like a thing I've noticed. Let's take a couple Advil, a couple vitamins. Dog out there. Can I do any repairing on the vehicle since I have things that are breaking? I can. No, because I know why I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt because I'm sick. Welder. All right. I guess that doesn't really matter. Just kind of looking to see what else needs to be repaired. I need to find a new wheel soon. I've been actually driving without a wheel, technically. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. Now I want to fix this corner here. I want to install... I guess I don't have any. Heavy-duty frame, military composite armor, quarter panels. what I want. What do I need to put a quarter panel on here? It would be this direction. I need a, need sheet metal. Sheet metal, okay. I feel like we had some sheet metal earlier. All right, well, no matter. What do we got in here? Lots of houses and an arcade. That's kind of cool. Hmm, let's go check out what's at the end of this road right here. So I'll actually go in reverse for a minute. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, let's go forward. We can get up to some pretty quick speed sometimes. Zombie technician. Okay, so it's a it's a uh, small power substation. Not really uh, anything I care to check out. Holy crap! I'm moving quick. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Just a little bit. Hold a pretty good good group of zombies there. At least I saw a pretty good group of zombies. There's a lot of homes. I don't really want to go through a bunch of homes. I'm not really in it for the homes right now. Um, I'm just going to go around this giant forest. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive around the forest. Uh, it's going to be a pain. But that's how I want to do it. That spider... Is definitely chasing me. I'm going slower for some reason. Let's speed up and lose him. All right, we lost him. Definitely lost him. Other than that, we're doing pretty good. Wrong key. There we go. Um, is this force gonna cut me off completely? Decayed pouncer. Interesting. Okay, I see him coming. We should be safe, though. I don't think he can catch up to us. There's another one. That forest covers this whole area. Really? Well, that kind of puts us in an, an awkward situation. So, do I want to try to hit this town, or do I want to go north and try to hit some places up here? Why don't we do that instead? Kind of a huge deviation from our plans. Um, but I just don't see any good way to get into that town. Let's go this way. Hopefully I don't drive on a landmine. I just completely forgot about that, but whatever. There's a couple bodies there. But that usually means, yep, zombie scientists to the north. I think we just passed like a drug run place or whatever. Yeah, so maybe we'll come this way and cut up this way and just hit some areas up here. See how we got some roads up there that really break off to nowhere. We could check those out, I guess, since uh, um, there's really no way for me to get around that forest without going through this town. 
And I just don't think I really, I just don't really want to go through that town. That's not something I feel like doing. There's a Krek and a zombie scientist behind me. I think the Krek is usually pretty quick, actually. I guess not quick enough because I lost him. I could completely just go through this. I could just go like straight down this street if I wanted to. And I think I honestly will. Zombie soldier. Oh, no. Oh, I hit it. I hit I hit the vehicle. Didn't do too much damage, though. Just run that zombie over. It's a decayed zombie. Yeah, I really got to do some modifications to this vehicle to help with being able to see. Okay, um, my character's really tired. Let's drive off. Somewhere's where I can get some sleep. Right here, maybe. Oop. Lacking sleep. Yeah, see, so we definitely need to get some sleep. Let's uh, stop here. Uh, stop driving. Close that. There's a crack back there and some other stuff coming as well. And a decayed zombie. Okay, let me deal with all the things that I brought over here and then we'll get some sleep. Crack. I don't remember how dangerous he is. Dangerous enough. I didn't even hit him. I blocked all the damage with my sword. Are we just going to play this game where neither of us are going to hit each other? Well, I'm dead tired, so I can't afford to sit here and do this all day. So we're going to wield our Taurus and be done with this. Okay, got him. Let's wield our broadsword and let's deal with these problems outside real quick. Holy crap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get just bombarded like that. Come on, worm. There. Everything good? Okay, let's get some sleep. Holy crap. We're dead tired right now. Hopefully, there's no creatures nearby that are going to come and kill me in my sleep. They can happen. Cough heavily, but I woke up. Okay, we're going to have to take some of our cough syrup. No big deal. Um, take, a, uh, take a little bit of the aspirin as well. And let's try to go back to sleep. All right. So like I said, change of plans. We're not going to hit that town up actually. We're going to go north and hit up some of those dead end roads. Uh, see if we can't find some more end game locations primarily. Look at that. There's a zombie trying to get in. I was woken up by a noise. Which was that zombie trying to break in. It's a good thing it woke me up. Him trying to smash through the vehicles pretty much what did it. We'll just butcher him. I've got a tough zombie coming in as well. So they're kind of just drifting off over here. Can I get that tough? Can I deal with that tough zombie, please? So I can go back to sleep. He's not. Okay, here he comes. We're definitely hurting because of how tired we are, so I just want to get this tough zombie real quick, and then we're going to go back to sleep. Okay. Because it keeps warning me. I know it. I know it is. Let's go back to sleep. Actually, I probably should have drank some water, but... I would imagine my character would wake up before he just died of dehydration, <laughs> but I could be wrong about that. I guess we'll find out if I wake up dead, if that makes any sense. We're sleeping. We're going to sleep for a while. Woke up by another zombie crashing on the... Yeah, so didn't pick the best place to sleep, but they can't really get inside, so I guess that's fine. 
Um, I'm going to eat my Spam real quick and my canned salmon and drink some water. I'm very thirsty. What does go wrong? Dislike toaster pastry, really. Dislike Spam, really. I mean, I guess Spam isn't that great, but... Yeah, I should probably cook those toaster pastries. Let me actually cook some stuff real quick. That's going to be nice. Some baked beans. Actually, let's do some deluxe cooked oatmeal again. Can't see the craft. Yeah, that makes sense. Where'd that zombie go? Let's deal with him. Oh, that was the only zombie here. And he was naked. Didn't have any clothes or anything on him. Um, hungry, thirsty, tired. Let's just go back to sleep. The whole end of this episode is just me trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, well. I'm really hoping we don't get any more zombies. It doesn't look like we did. We're still tired. There is a zombie soldier nearby. We're still tired and we're still hungry. Let's grab... Uh, let's see. Let's grab some meat jerky. Eat all that. Malted milk balls. Kind of help raise our happiness. Some potato chips. Chocolate candies. Canned tuna. Start eating some of this stuff up. Oh, full, really? Okay, well, I guess not. I guess we're now full. Well, I'll keep it on me. Drink some more. I'm really thirsty. There we go. Um, I'd like to do some more sleeping. Is my character not going to sleep anymore? Oh, because I'm coughing. Wow. I'm actually probably just perpetually, for the most part, tired because I'm sick. Um... No, I keep, I was dead tired again right before I fell asleep. It, it's probably the cough syrup I'm taking too is also making me very tired because uh, it's it's not uh, non-drowsy. But I still want to make sure I'm fully well rested. I mean, it would be nice if I slept the flu off as well, which is a possibility. So still tired. Uh, still have the flu. Still have a zombie soldier outside, and uh, that's where we're going to leave this episode off since we are out of time. So, like I said, deviating from our plan, we're going to drive north through here, uh, check out some of these dead-end streets that are up here, and uh, hell, we may go even farther up north and see what is in store for us. What is this over here? I don't think I've ever seen this. A mega store. That'd be cool. I've never been in a mega store before. So, yeah, we'll drive north and see what's at some of those dead-end roads, see if there's anything cool worth uh, checking out. And hopefully we'll find another armored vehicle because i got a lot of repairing and rebuilding I want to do with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.